The U.S. Navy Vice Admiral John Hill, the head of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency or MDA, has indicated that the U.S. already has a weapon that can intercept highly maneuverable incoming hypersonic projectiles. The weapon is the SM-6 missile. Hill made the remarks about the SM-6 during a discussion about hypersonic defense capabilities at the American Society of Naval Engineers Combat Systems Symposium, which opened on January 31st. Viewers may note that MDA is leading an effort to develop a layered defense architecture against hypersonic threats that includes an array of ground and space-based sensors and several types of interceptors. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. military can knock down hypersonic threats using SM-6 missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Hill said that the SM-6 series is really the nation's only hypersonic defense capability. He added that these weapons have a nascent capability to engage incoming hypersonic threats that are maneuvering to a high degree. He explained, We didn't call it that back when we got the letter from the CNO, Chief of Naval Operations, the Navy's top uniformed officer, to go develop this program, but the whole idea was to handle high-speed maneuver. Hill didn't point to any particular version of this missile. The missile has two variants, Block 1 and Block 1A in service, while a third version, the Block 1B, is under development. This revelation came after the agency revealed plans to test a new version of the SM-6 against an advanced maneuvering threat. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second, or 3,836 miles per hour, or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Hypersonic weapons combine the high speed of a traditional ballistic missile with the maneuverability of a cruise missile, making them almost unstoppable with the currently available air defense systems. There are three methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons. One, using a scramjet engine like the Russian Zircon missile. Two, through the use of hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, examples of which are the Chinese DF-ZF, Russian Avangard, and the underdevelopment American Arrow. 3. Using ALBM, or air-launched ballistic missile, like the Russian Kinzhal missile. Out of this, the HGVs are thought to be the most maneuverable. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM-6, have been deployed by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for Extended Range Anti-Air Warfare ERAAW, purposes providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. 
The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4 RIM-156A missile and some targeting elements from AIM-120C AMRAAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target and the active seeker having the missile itself send out an electromagnetic signal. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5 and has a 140-pound or 64-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. While the current variants are thought to be effective against hypersonic threats, the new Block 1B variant is expected to see some major upgrades to propulsion and guidance. It's expected to be able to reach hypersonic speed itself and therefore has enhanced performance envelope. Barbara McQuiston, a senior U.S. official currently performing the duties of the Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, had stated in a written testimony last year, MDA, the Missile Defense Agency, in cooperation with the U.S. Navy, demonstrated early capability against maneuvering threats during flight testing of the standard missile SM-6 sea-based terminal SBT defense. It will further demonstrate this capability against an advanced maneuvering threat representative target later this year. We will continue to advance our SBT capability to address the regional hypersonic threat and will test that capability in the FY 2024 timeframe. Viewers may note that U.S. Navy currently uses Aegis Missile Defense System for missile defense. The Aegis Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense DoD, missile defense agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles as well as cruise missiles. Aegis equipped vessels like Arleigh Burke class destroyers shoot down enemy missiles in the terminal flight phase by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY radar and standard missile or SM technologies. The system will likely be integrated with the new variant of SM-6. The U.S. officials were stunned when a Financial Times report revealed that Beijing had tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August last year. Russia has already fielded Kinzhal and Avangard. The U.S. is lagging behind. For example, in December, the U.S. Air Force's air-launched rapid response weapon, Arrow, failed in testing for the third time running in 2021, not even leaving the wing of the B-52 bomber carrying it. But when it comes to defense against hypersonic weapons, the U.S. seems to be on the right path. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.